I am Dr. Pablo Taola, I am a civil engineer and I direct uh, this project for Fabri that I'm going to show you that uh, URSO has shown us at the end of this presentation. But just before we, we start, I, I wanted to introduce this project in the, in the overall uh, transformation of the law. This is an image of the early 90s with what we call the opportunity areas. The, the, Ivan has talked about them. The, industrial, the port, the railway, all the areas that uh, were there and were apparently going to change, most of them public. And those are the real projects that have been developed or are being developed in, uh, in this, uh, among these, these areas. So you can see we have taken most of them. And always with this idea of reconstruct the city upon itself. Because this means for us a, a sustainable urban regeneration with the density, mixed uses, you, you have seen it from the Ivan's uh, presentation. And what are the, 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 um, the ways? Publix, uh, Bilbao Ria 2000, is the, company, the public company that has developed most of them. Uh, all the projects that Ivan has shown, you, you can see them here. Also some private. Ivan has shown also some of them, like the Isothaki uh, Towers. And now we are trying with a public-private, for a public, the, the project I'm going to show you. So for me, one important idea, and this has also to, to, be, to connect with the question about money, that we have to use all the systems to, to, to get the transformation. And all of, all of this with one vision, but this to recover this river that has been uh, our, where, where we were born, we were, where we had our industry, our activity, and to transform it. And now we arrive to Ferrofarre, which is our big last project. And uh, it's situated in the, in the north past of part of Bilbao, in the, in the, going to the sea. And you see here how it's, it's the biggest project we have in Bilbao, but also in, in our region. Here you can see them compared with the rest of the project that Ivan Areso has shown, some of the projects that he has shown. But it still is, is a very central project. You can see here how it is connected with uh, or close to the, to the Opera Hall or to Guggenheim Museum. But, how happened? How it came to this territory? It was in the 60s. The port authority made a, an artificial canal because they needed more space to to work with the with the ships. It was at that moment there, there was not the idea that we later did of uh, building a, a new port outside. So they built uh, this open this canal and built it, and the canal was not finished. I think for two reasons. One was the, the money, because the land is very bad and the, the project becomes very expensive. But also because this shipyard that uh, we have seen before, where the Congress Hall is, was one of the reasons to, to build this canal, because the... Oh, sorry. Because the... The river was not easy for the when the, when the ships began bigger. The, the, the river was not so easy to to get all the, the ships uh, down. So the idea was to to bring them on, on, on the new canal. What happened is, besides the cost of the canal, was that this uh, shipyard, as you have seen, uh, was uh, was not really going up, and in the in 87 it closed. So finally, it, it didn't finish the canal, the port. The port has been there till 2005. And there is one important thing about this canal is that uh, as it happens or with all the port uh, areas, it, they are close. And so it's near to the city, but close to the city sense. So the people in Bilbao, they didn't know it. So what we have is an old port area a close uh, uh, area with no access for the public. Uh, they really industrial because 
after 95 with the general plan of Bilbao it became a, a residential, a future residential area so there was not the possibility to renew all these industries and also some apartments mainly in the, in the board of the river so we have a, a mixed area. A, a special territory because it was long and quite thin and a mixed property and this is why it's a public private because public the, the port before now the regional government owns 40 percent and the city 10 percent so that makes that both of them they have 51 and a lot of privates have the, the rest of, of the land to manage that we have created this commission restaurant that, that i direct at this moment where we have the regional government the city and three private enterprises in all at this moment uh, 65 that with a board that we have also Ivon Aris on the board and the mayor is the president and the minister of one of the ministers of the region and the vice president. The idea is in general to continue with uh, this uh, transformation that we have seen before with uh, the re reusing of this uh, existing city, density and also quality of architecture. But uh, we have I think we have here more problems than before. One of the main problems that we have existing industries, nearly 100, that they make the land polluted, that we need infrastructures, bridges, opening of the canal, we will see later. And also another complication that we have a lot of private owners, small private owners, that is a, a, a complication. And I, I will not say that is a problem, but it's, a, it's at least a, 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 a how I say, something uh, that, that we have to, to work with it and it's a special thing you, you will see the, the project uh, we asked her to, did, to make a, a master plan she did it in, in 2004 and we presented it in the fine arts museum we have our mayor and Taha Hadid presenting it to the, to the public with architects and all kinds of politicians. And uh, in, in this, uh, this exhibition mm, reminds me one thing that has connection with what Ivan has said that in '93 there was a, another exhibition in the same museum with all the projects, the Guggenheim, the, 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 the metro, the airport, projects, some of them that were on work already and uh, the, the Cesar Pelli project for Abandibarra and uh, the feeling that we got at this moment in uh, 93 was that uh, nobody believed it on the project it's like uh, Ivan has said about the Guggenheim and uh, the people, the, the newspaper, they say there was models, projects that the politicians tried to sell to the citizens but that we were, we were not going to have it what happened 11 years after? Uh, with a more complicated project, more sophisticated, the people, they, they really believe that that was going to happen. And the, the question that uh, the people ask, especially the old people, was, where will, will I will see this project finish? It was more a matter of time, but not a matter of will of, of our existence. So we have changed in these uh, 15 years a lot our mentality, but also our politicians have changed a lot and you must consider that it has been, I think it's very, very brave for a mayor to ask Faha uh, Hadid to design a, a master plan. And it's a, really a will to have the, the best of the best. After this master plan and discussions with the politicians, uh, neighbors, we asked her to redesign it, changing some, and, and, uh, some things and also uh, giving way to, to some projects that uh, are, are already uh, done and after that I know in, in 2007 we ad adopted adapted this plan to the crisis if you see the difference we they took uh, out some bridges the, the ones that we thought were not necessary at the beginning just to make it viable and with that we started working this will be the, the image of that if you see, we have been working nearly eight years on that and, and still the project is, as Ivan has said, on, on the before, not, the, not on the after. But uh, we have done a lot of things and I hope that next year this project will really start moving. 
Now I'm going to quickly show you what is the, the project. The first idea is to uh, uh, transform the, the peninsula in island. Uh, for, for urban design, and Faha wanted to make an island, but mainly, and uh, this is the, the first reason, because of flood pre prevention. On the movie, you have seen the, the floods we had in 83, and after that, they have to, we have to do things to prevent floods, and one of them was to, to open the canal. Uh, we have designed, Taha has designed the plan with a very simple uh, scheme, trying not to have uh, cars on the island. So with, uh, in, you know, from each bridge, there was an entrance and, a, and, and going outside. And both ends were connected by an avenue with uh, only two ways, one, one in, from each side, that uh, what the, the mode, traffic model says that they will not have many, many traffic. And the idea is the main traffic will be outside and only will cross in, in one end of the, of the island. One of the reasons also to have this is to connect the existing tramway to, to pass it through the river and it will cross the, the, the whole island with four stops. So this, is, this tramway will, will jump to the other side. Because the project will be mainly for pedestrian and bicycles due to the idea that all the river sites and the canal sites will be pedestrians and for bicycles. So you can see that uh, we will have more than seven kilometers of, of these uh, river sites. Even the, the existing road will be transformed in a, in a promenade where all the, all the, most of the existing houses are, are now. Uh, Ivan has said something about it. It makes uses between residential and economic activities. One important thing is that half of, half of the apartments will be socials. And also, uh, this 26% of uh, economic activity will be in this, what we call, uh, urban technology park. We have, the, the city has made a, an agreement with uh, the, the technological park that is now close to the airport, with the idea that they will build with the same scheme but not outside, inside of the city, a uh, uh, technological park. Apparently, I'm not an expert on that. It's something that this has been done in Boston, in, in, fine, in uh, Stockholm, in, uh, in Sweden and Finland. And the idea is to have a more sustainable uh, technological park because the, the offices are close to the city where the people live. Those, these are the, the first ideas of Zahas of movement in the, in the island, movement in, all, in the all directions. The, and one important idea is that the buildings should be perpendicular to the river, to the water, so there will be a, a vision. When you walk on, along the island, you will have a vision of the water left and right. So, and uh, from the first ideas of Zaha, mm, uh, if, if, if you See from if you see from uh, two two plans, the first and, 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 and the last, they are very similar. But if you put them uh, one on top of the other, you will see that all the buildings have changed, have moved. Everything has moved, but the effect, the the spirit, I think, is still on on it. And the spirit is the the buildings heights, which they they are bigger at the both end of the island because uh, she wants to have a, 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 way, a wave. Instead, if you see, mainly in Bilbao, we, we like to have a, a uniform corniche, and uh, she wants on, on, the, on the reverse to have movement. Also, a new typology of, of, of buildings, different from the blocks that we are normally, we normally do in, in Bilbao. And, and this is what uh, we hope to get. And always the idea that the canal will be the, the new center. This canal that is close to the city, but uh, nobody knows in, in Bilbao. As always, we try to make a sustainable project, reusing the city with density, with uh, rehabilitation of the houses and uh, avoiding the traffic. But also, we maintain and rehabilitate the existing houses. There, there is. Uh, 
most of them are already being rehabilitated. We have put a fund of uh, four and a half million euros free for, for the neighbors to, to develop, to rebuild, to rebuild the, the, their houses. The idea of uh, reuse, the, reduce the use of the car that I have shown you before, and to transform the central area where the existing houses are in a, in a zone, in a quiet, in a calm traffic area. And also this is the existing uh, uh, street, I will say more road, that will be transformed in a promenade as I have shown you before. And both rivers, banks of the canal will be uh, a 20 meter wide uh, promenade. And this is the project. And we have, uh, we, as I was saying, we are on the before, but still we, we, are, we have done things. We have worked on economic activities with uh, some buildings. Ivon has shown us this is the former uh, port warehouse, and now is the site of the headquarters of IDOM, an uh, engineering company, born in Bilbao, but now it's all over the world. It's, uh, in Bilbao, it has 600 workers in this building, and uh, they have 2,000 all over the world, and they have decided to, to be the first building to, to the new project. Also, uh, we, we, re we rehabilitate the buildings to, in this case, those two, as in industries incubators. If, uh, if you see uh, on, on, the, on the projects that Ivan has shown us, we have, the, he has shown only one reputation of, of industrial building. We have been very bad on that, unless uh, uh, different from for what is done in the rest of Europe. And in this project in Ferrofabre, we are going to maintain 16 buildings with the idea of uh, changing a little bit this process. Also, two important projects. One is uh, on the left, the BBK is the local bank. And uh, with the same idea that uh, Cesar Pelli has, has designed the tower of Valdebarra, uh, we have asked, the local bank has asked Farah Hadid to design their future headquarters. And on the other side of the canal, there is a, a clinic that uh, two months ago started the, their life with a project of a Catalan architect, Carlos Ferrater. And with a, an important idea that uh, Ivan has told us a little bit about that, that even uh, private developers, in this case a, a private clinic, has uh, asked um, for good architecture. They, they made a competition with seven architects and they, they choose finally Carlos Farater for the project. And also, uh, as, as Ivan has said, we, we, work, we try to work on, on creative activities. And besides these, these economics, we are working in, in some projects rehabilitating most of them with rehabilitation of industrial buildings and taking this idea. Uh, in this case, this will be for a, a, a urban foundation, metropolitan foundation. They will renew this building. To the, the, the idea of this foundation is to, to even they will have a small apartments to invite uh, professors from other countries to stay for uh, short periods and and give classes, lectures to, to work on, pro on projects. It will be a, a space for, for thinking on the city. In this case, the city hall has sold this building to, has sold this building to a, a mathematic uh, foundation. There's a mathematic foundation where 30 mathematicians from all over the world, they are thinking and, the, and thinking about uh, what uh, applied mathematics, mathematics Again, I'm not an expert on that, but they, they say that uh, they use this for design of tunnels, design of uh, uh, planes uh, and engines, and uh, they have a, a lot of future. In this case, is culture, the other aspect that Igor has said, and the, the regional government is uh, now rehabilitating these buildings for what, we, what they call a cultural factory, trying to reuse uh, warehouses for, for cultural uses. And with this idea that I like very much of Jane Jacobs, of how all these buildings are really good for new uses and uh, that we, we must not tear them down. And to end, uh, 
very special initiative uh, done by a, a local cultural uh, cultural association that they have uh, tried to th to do things on the wild while while the project is done and also now the, the they have become more ambitious and they try to create a creative district on on the, on the existing creating a space for young artists and designers or uh, market uh, on Sundays for, for second-hand clothes, workshop for artists or weekend gallery for local artists. This is going on already, starting and, and moving. And uh, so this is where we are. And the final idea is to see that this is a very costly project mainly because the first line, the, the, the removal of the industry will cost uh, 85 million. We have to make a lot of demolitions, to open the canal, bridges. So finally, it will be the cost of it to build these 5,473 apartments for 245 million. So, thank you. This will be... Just one because they have an appointment at seven. I have to leave. I'm sorry. change between the 90s and, and nowadays. At the beginning, as Simon has said, if we have asked the people, the museum will have not made, but even the metro will, will be not made. If uh, People thought at the moment that they didn't need the metro. Now the metro has 96 million travelers per year, and uh, nobody can think of living in Bilbao without the metro, without the underground. So at the, be at the beginning was a public and a very leadership driven uh, process. After that we started with first information and now we are in the process more of, of getting people involved uh, on that. In our case, um, I will say this has been good and bad because we have had a lot of problems with discussion and problems with neighbors that we have been forced. We have done some change uh, according to neighbors, we have been forced also to do things that we didn't want it because the strength of the neighbors and uh, but also this uh, this uh, there is this activity by the, the cultural association that they are working there also the, the local neighbors they are re rehabilitating their, their own buildings we give them some money but they put also money from themselves and uh, in, in, uh, in the island in the future island there is an association of neighbors very active that uh, they, they, they try to, to create, to preserve the, the, the existing idea of the district, which is a very special one. So, in general, I will say that we have moved from nothing to now it's more and more, and also because of the, of the European directives that force us, everybody, to, to have more success. I wish you have a, a nice final staying in Bilbao, and, and I hope we will have more time next time.
hopefully. Sorry, I have to leave.